saying that the two influences to be countered in your younger days in Vienna were Marxism and psychoanalysis. And I know in the Hobhouse lecture, you also spend a good deal of time talking about the baneful influence of Freud and his ideas. Perhaps you'd develop that a little bit. Well, you know, it's so difficult to generalize about Freud. He was undoubtedly a very intelligent and observant man. But I think his basic idea of the harmful effect of repressions just disregards that our civilization is based on repressions. And while he himself, as I put out, point out in that lecture, became later rather alarmed by the exaggeration of these ideas by his pupils, I think he is ultimately responsible for the modern trend in education, which amounts to an attempt to completely free people from habitual restraints. But after all, our moral, whole moral world consists of restraints of this sort. And he has in that way become the, what I like to call the scientific destructions of values which are indispensable for civilization, but the function of which we do not understand, which we have observed merely because they were tradition. And that creates a new task, which should be unnecessary, to explain why these values are good. Mm -hmm.